And the wife of Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore comes to the defense of her husband amid growing allegations. Earlier today, Kayla Moore denounced the allegations against the judge during a women's rally outside the Alabama Capitol building. Kayla accused the Washington Post of reporting on false claims in an attempt to swing Alabama voters to vote against Moore after he was previously leading in the polls. She says her husband is undeterred by attacks from the left, confirming he has no plans to drop out of the race. Our very own Trey Yingst is in Alabama, and he caught up with Kayla ahead of the rally for her first TV interview. I'm here with Kayla Moore, the wife of Roy Moore, Alabama Senate candidate. I want to thank you for joining me today, Miss Kayla. Thank you. I'd like to start off the top by asking you about your conversations with your husband. Uh, obviously, this past week has been uh, very busy for the, the Moore campaign. Um, when this story broke in the Washington Post, your husband and you, and you had a talk. Talk to me about uh, his concerns and, and what he said to you. Well, they're allegations. That means they're allegations. And I don't want to talk about allegations. They're false. And a lawsuit's being filed. Your husband is someone who was an early supporter of President Trump. Um, he didn't receive the initial endorsement in the, in the runoff election with Luther Strange, uh, but afterwards President Trump, and even during those remarks, said that he would put his support behind Roy Moore. And he has. He's called, um, they've talked, and, um, and he's, I, I think that Trump will see with the president when uh, my husband gets there that they're probably very much alike on the issues. Has President Trump called this week to show his support for? No, I understand he's been out of the country. Um, moving forward, do you have a, a message for President Trump? Um, he has, has said officially through his spokesperson, Sarah Sanders, that he would like the people of Alabama to decide the outcome of the election. I appreciate him respecting the people of Alabama. Uh, if, if your husband does win the election on December 12th, uh, do you envision that he will uh, wholeheartedly support the president's agenda? Um, are there any issues that... that My husband has said consistently that he supports the president and he will help him with his agenda. So long as it's constitutional, you can count on it. What did the president say when he spoke to your husband? Well, he just told him that he ran a great campaign and he told him that he'd be with him and that he would support him. Let's talk about Mitch McConnell. Uh, this was something that came up in the press conference. Let's not talk today. about Mitch McConnell. <laughs> um, but, but, but briefly, if we could just uh, to talk about Mitch McConnell, the Senate Majority Leader. He called on your husband to step down. Uh, your husband sent out a tweet that said uh, he was the person who should step aside. In the conversations that you've had uh, with your husband, Roy Moore, uh, what are his views on the Senate Majority Leader? That he needs to step down. Why? Because he's not a leader and he's not doing his job. And the people are tired of Washington not doing their job and representing the people of Alabama and playing a game. Um, the Washington Post came out with this story last week, and uh, really since then a lot of focus has been on this race in Alabama. Uh, to your knowledge, uh, did your husband uh, commit any of these allegations? I'm these not going to talk about them um, because they are allegations. I'm not going to talk about them in a suit's been filed. We've seen him a, a few times this week. He's doing great. Um, Take me through uh, your conversations He's this week with him. He's a fighter, and we both are, and we just continue to do what we're supposed to do, wherever that leads. He loves getting out and meeting with the people. He loves the people of Alabama, and we that's the thing that we like about the politics of all of it, is just going and meeting the people and seeing them, the other stuff we could do without. but. We'd love to see the people and hear what they have to say. If there's a, an Alabama voter or an American citizen who has watched the news uh, unfold, um, what's important for them to know about Roy Moore? That he's honest and that he's godly and that he loves his country. He fought for his country in Vietnam. He's a West Pointer. As I said in my speech earlier today, he's an officer and a gentleman. You can always count on him to tell the truth. And my final question for you, uh, has your husband uh, been completely honest in all of his statements that he has made about this past week and the allegations As I against said, him? He always tells the truth. Thank you so much for your time, Ms. Moore. Thank you.